gaffer your assessment of that game? Well, when I went in the, in the dressing room, I just heard uh, a couple of senior players use three words. One was embarrassed, uh, one was humiliated, uh, one was a shambles. And uh, you'd have to say that those three words are apt adjectives to describe what we've just watched. Um, when you dig and search for reasons, I guess people will look at Wednesday night and 120 minutes on Wednesday night and an inability to recover in some instances. I think there were players on the pitch who clearly struggled physically to uh, get through the game. And, you know, I have to take responsibility there because just to, you know, use a single example, um, Rico was sitting Wednesday night out and was sat on the bench and, uh, you know, he, he probably should have started the game looking back at it um, because if you've got those fresh legs there and that fresh impetus, uh, then, you know, you give yourselves more of a chance and you don't see Gabby coming off on 70 minutes. But, you know, in the build-ups of these games, you don't want to disrupt the flow of the team. You're listening to your players, you're watching your players, you're trying to make a judgment as to, you know, who's right and who's not right. Um, I have to say too many players were below par today. Too many players didn't recover um, to a level that was necessary and I, I have to look to Wednesday um, as the reason for what was a very, very disappointing performance. I think it's important that we don't dwell on it. I think if we dwell too much on today, uh, we would uh, do damage to our confidence. I think we're much better than we've shown and I do think there's a big physical factor and as I say, I take responsibility for getting selection wrong uh, where I probably should have used a lot more of the players who've not been playing and put a lot more freshness in. We could still be looking at a bad result because we could have then had disorganisation issues. So um, you're damned if you do if you da and damned if you don't sometimes. But uh, you know that's how I see it this afternoon.